Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. So give me just a few minutes to get uh, my video up and running. Let's see if anyone's in here. I gotta get you on the computer first. There we go, I'm seeing some people. Hi Angie, hi Beth Ann, hi Kathy. So welcome to Piccadilly Stamping from Waterloo, Iowa, where it is frosty today and it is making my toes cold. So I actually brought out my hoodies and sweatshirts because I'm cold today. So um, we've actually got a lot to talk about today. Um, and the demonstration that I'm gonna do, so let's just get moving on that. Without Bill here, I have nobody to um, kind of tell me your questions and stuff, so if it's something real urgent, definitely send me a message, but I want you to notice this. I get these from my friend, uh, Marsha, and she's got some really cool ink on there, gold ink. I think this is really, really pretty. Look at this one. So she stamped it, and it looks like it was stamped on our DSP to give that fall, I don't know if that's showing up for you guys, it is really good for me, foliage type of feel. And then this one, of course, she loves the blue, and she um, did this from the celebration set, the Dahlia. So thank you, Marsha, for those. Those are really cute. I love to share the cards that I get from people. Okay, I'm just going to give a quick little reminder on the Paper Pumpkin Kit this month. It actually looks really fun. It has um, these little snowman boxes with oversized food safe treat bags that you can put in there. I think that's really cute. You could always use the treat bags for something else and use these for cards too if you wanted to. But this is our subscription. You can get them once a month. I think this would look really cute for table favors for um, some sort of a holiday party or even at, on Christmas morning. So really cute. Those um, you have until November 10th to sign up. Um, just real quick, I want to run through these because I have a lot. Piccadilly Perks, this is if you're brand new to me, please like and follow me right now because you will get every time I go live, but also I have a reward system. So for every $35 purchase per order, you get one letter to the name Piccadilly. And so if it's a $70 purchase, then of course you're going to get two P and an I. And when you get all 10, then you get a $25 shopping spree on me. So not too shabby. Um, okay, we are in the middle and it's closing in quick. At the end of our stamp sale, I was able to get mine in today. I was excited about it. There was some things that I was kind of uh, figuring out that I wanted. And it was a huge list. So um, if you're in my VIP group, I definitely posted that. I also sent a couple of emails. And um, if you are not signed up on my email, you can go to Facebook. There's a way to sign up if you're on a computer, but if you're on your phone or something, um, you do have to go to my blog to get that um, hooked up. So I will put that in the link in the description. Um, but then I let you know of all the sales and stuff that are coming on. So this goes until midnight mountain time. I'm in central time. So for me, this goes till 1 a.m. Um, and then, I don't know, you can figure your time zone, I guess, but so you know how long it goes. Anyway, so I'm excited about it, and um, I've already got my order in, and there's still time if you want to get 15% off. It is on select stamps, um, and it has this right in the page when you open up to go to my store. You'll see the stamp sale, 24 hours. It's just like a flash sale, so... Um, you can browse around. This is my plug every time for joining my team. I have a wonderful team. And um, if you are interested in getting a discount, let me just say here, 
I'm just going to say something. So on this sale, if you see my little sideline over here, so the discount was 15%, so let's just take something here. Bamboo Beauty, which is something I had been looking at. It's $21 on sale for $17.85, but if you are a demonstrator, you get your discount on top of that for any sales that we have. So there, it, it would cost me $13.38. Very nice. One of the perks of being a demonstrator. Plus, you get to see stuff new ahead of time. So if you want to join my team and you have any questions about it, let me know. You can message me here on Facebook. Um, I probably won't get to them this evening, but tomorrow I will. It is um, $99 to join. That's it. You don't have to sell. You don't have to recruit. In fact, most of my team just do it for personal use. Piccadilly Parfait, Bill and I will be doing a live this Friday at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then the last thing, and I'm excited about this, Be Jolly Card Kit to Go. I literally have some super uber cute cards. So I had wanted to order this. I got it in a little bit later than what I thought I would. But when I sat down and I use um, heartwarming hugs, have you seen that? It's a real traditional... Let's just see if I had it right out here close, but here it is. Kind of a red and green. This is what I used to make these cards. And, I mean, it's super uber cute. So they're real, um, especially if you have, like, grandchildren that live, you know, away from you that you want to send a card to with maybe some money or something. This one's really, really cute. It's very easy but it's totally adorable. There's a little sneak peek about what I got here. So um, this will be on the description if you're watching me later on in YouTube. But I'm going to post this tomorrow morning with a sign up to get involved with that. So you don't want to miss out on it. It's only going to be up for two weeks. Okay, just to sign up to reserve for the class. So let's get started tonight with the demonstration. I hope I didn't go too fast. I may just stop. It's different without Bill here. Hi, Della. That was my grandma's name. Oh, I love it. Um, I don't see. Oh, Mary Jo, you're in an electric blanket. Yes, I know. I'm cold and cold and cold. So um, let me just show you what we're going to be working with tonight. Um, for the sentiment, I chose the uh, For Unto Us. This was from last year, so I'm pulling some stuff from last year. That's fine because it came back by popular demand, and I love that. One of my favorite, if you like, um, religious cards. Now, the, obviously, these are kind of um, just Santa Claus cards, but tonight we're going to be doing more of a religious card for Christmas. And then... <clears throat> I'm also going to pull out the carried over the poinsettias. And last year I showed you a lot of stuff to do with these. I couldn't resist. I actually have Christmas cards that I made again this year going out with the poinsettias because I just think they're so beautiful. So if you haven't seen this, the um, poinsettia uh, petals is what it is. It is a red rubber stamp. Let me pull it out here. I'll just pull them both out. This is a red rubber stamp, which, oh no, I'm sorry, this is a photopolymer stamp, and it has matching dies to go with it, and this is great for so many things. Now, you don't get the discount bundle because this is a last year product, but you can still get the dies and the um, poinsettia um, petal um, stamp set. What am I trying to say here? Um, oh, yeah, you don't get the discount, but this does so much. Um, I did a lot of uh, the large ones last year for package decorating. Instead of bows on packages, poinsettias, it was just fabulous like this. Now, this is a white one. I did red. but So let's get started with this. And you can find that in our annual catalog. And then the four unto us was brought back and put in our mini catalog. And I love it because I just love, oh, come let us adore him and hark the herald angels sing. So this is just a fun set. Both of these are. I had to use them again this year. Let me put those aside and pull out the rest of the stamp pack here. 
So I have been getting messages from several of you still on vellum. So we're going to hit with vellum tonight also. And that will be the first part of my demonstration, actually, I think. Let's just pull the vellum slip out. I have a, um, I believe this is... My paper must be cut wrong. I thought this was four. So let's do a little paper trimming too, shall we? I thought I had these cut down, so I'm gonna pull out my paper trimmer. I do not. This should be four by five and a quarter. So here's four on my trimmer. Okay, that's some really thick vellum and turn it to five and a, and a quarter. And then again, I don't have this one cut down. I don't know what I was thinking. Had all day. I checked it even to make sure I had it done and ready. But how it goes. I was very busy today. I had a lot going on with the sale. And I do want to say thank you to everybody who's already purchased from the sale. Amazing. Amazing. Very much appreciate that. So I'm going to put that aside. So this is cut at four by five and a quarter. Now, I don't know if you guys know this or not. And I know my VIPs from last year, um, I had sent them uh, a sanding block. So when you get these little edges and they're just, I, I probably need to get a new blade in there. All you have to do is just take it and sand these little edges down and it'll lay them right down. And then you don't get that hairy little look. So, um... This one was Stampin' Up! used to sell these, so this was a Stampin' Up! one from years ago. But really, if you just go to any nail supply store, they're going to have them. Okay, so there you go. Now, back to the vellum. I've been getting a lot of questions. How do you attach a vellum? Uh, um, and I've done some videos on it, but I'm going to do it again. But I'm, I'm going to add a little to this. So our vellum is pretty, uh, it's a thick vellum. It's a good heavy-duty vellum. And I'm going to, I've had questions about can you emboss on vellum. You can heat emboss on vellum, and you can also do the dry embossing. I am going to use the wintry 3D embossing folder. This is new in our... Um, in our mini catalog, but it's also for our mini um, stamp and cut emboss machine. How to think of it? Mini boss, I think, is what Bill calls it, right? And I'm going to take it, and as you notice, with this size, it is not going to fit all the way in. That's okay. So the first thing I want to talk about is lining this up there is a little lip here so you want to make sure that you're staying within that lip so that you're getting the most of the design as possible on here now since this won't fit through my mini i'm going to have to use my big one so let me pull it out and you guys I got all my little washi tape stuck to this. So normally you have your um, your base plate and then your die cutting plates and stuff, but you're only going to need when you're doing a 3D embossing folder. And it tells you on, there's a recipe on each, each uh, plate, but you're only going to need the special, and let me grab it, 3D embossing folder. Okay, so I'm going to take that that I've got lined up on this edge. I only need that and this. So the base plate and number four for 3D embossing. And I'm going to run that through like butter. Now, when I go to do, when I pull this out, let's take a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna flip it. So, 
I want to flip it to where I can see that I'm not going to overrun this. So here we go. So I can see, and I know the camera probably is not picking it up, but there's this little lip that I was telling you about. And so this is where you have to have some good eyesight here, but I'm gonna put that right on there. And when you put the next one over, you can see, I don't want to go, there we go, right there. Now, if you have a big shot, a big shot does not have the clearance that this has. So I'm only recommending this for the stamp and cut emboss machine. But you can get the other half in because there's like a half inch more clearance than what a big shot or um, some of the other names. We used to sell a big shot. Okay. Ta-da. Right? Now, they don't line up, but I don't want you to get hooked up on that. Let me put this over here again and I'll show you why. So... That was the wintry 3D embossing folder guys, uh, embossing plates. So why I'd, I'm gonna attach this here onto a piece of petal pink of the same size, and that looks absolutely beautiful. And you can pick which side. I definitely like, there's an embossed and a debossed side, and I definitely like the embossed where it's raised for this one. Okay. Let me go to my card base. Um, that little trick that I gave you, I I have a big shot left and I should go and see if it fits, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't because it goes all the way from edge to edge on the stamp and cut emboss machine. So um, I don't think you're going to be able to get that by on like a big shot or I don't know what all the other machines are called. Okay, this is just a basic white, thick, whisper white card base that I put together. And this layer is now going to give that soft effect on to my um, card. We'll get to glue in that in a minute. So I pulled out the dies and I chose the white because I want to keep this as a very soft um, little project here. And I cut the bottom three of the poinsettia. What did I do with them? Did I? Oh, here they are. Ugh. So here's the things that I used. So I cut the bottom three of the poinsettia dies out. My trick is I used a piece of masking tape so I don't have to cut it uh, emboss it and then go through and cut it that way I can just cut these out in one shot because um, you can just emboss if you wanted to on it so I cut it out in one shot and I keep them that way in there and then of course this little one doesn't um, go there and this die is actually from the hippo and friends I just picked a little die that would work for my sentiment and I'm going to try to stamp that in that it'll bitty um, sentiment now because this is I want to make sure I have because this is going to be such a light card for my ink choice I chose the basic gray I think slate is just a hair <sighs> To, speaking of hair, there's a little hair there. If you guys have never done this, a little masking tape. And you can just run these all along and it will clean up your ink pads perfectly. It'll get glitter off of them. And I mean if it's covered with glitter. And glitter, you know, gets everywhere. So I have um, Glory to the Newborn King in this one, this sentiment from the 
for unto us stamp set that I'm going to use. I just wanted a small little one, so I'm going to hopefully, maybe I better stand up, hopefully stamp this nice and even in here. Because I didn't cut, I should have cut out a second one. Hmm. It's pretty close. Okay, that was in the basic gray. And that was from the four unto us. And the dies were from the poinsettia dies. Let's build. To get this, I'm going to just do a little bend right on the edge. You can use a bone folder if that works for you, but I just want just that edge of that poinsettia not to lay so flat. You can use um, glue dots if that's easy for you. I prefer the Tombow Multipurpose Liquid Glue. It holds really good and it's very inexpensive. So I'm going to layer them so that the petals go opposite of one another on here. There we go. Okay, so now bringing in my card and these. I need the, the vellum attached down to this. So I need to look at where my snowflakes are that might not be as perfect. And there's one right there. So I'm probably going to do that. If I had it this way, maybe I would go this way. This can go any direction you want it to. In fact, if I was doing it this way, maybe I would do like that. I think that's kind of cute too. But I'm going to go my original direction. So I know right now that to attach my vellum to the the cardstock, the petal pink cardstock, I'm I'm gonna want to put this here, and I'll probably have this just kind of tagged out this way. So even though it's stamped a little crooked, you you really won't notice. You still just be able to see the sentiment. So knowing that, I'm gonna have from here to here a good area to. This is stamp and seal, and I think I, you know, I was so used to the other stuff that it was hard for me to get used to this, but I am really loving it. So let me kind of look again. You can even put it right on your vellum, like so. And with that embossing in there, I think it helps to hide any adhesive but this is and I'm going to pull it with my fingers it's stuck it isn't going any place and it's really good in and humidity resistant um where I live high humidity okay humidity resistant jeez so now I'm going to take a glue dot I mean high humidity areas. I mean, today was cold, but it was high humidity here. I'm gonna stick a glue dot right where I want that poinsettia. Okay, I should probably take this before I go any farther and just, I'm gonna use some of this green glue because I can't seem to get stuff lined up really easily and the green glue is slick for a few seconds so that when I go to my card base and I line it up on here. So I'm pulling some of that white. I've softened my petal pink and I'm pulling some of that white forward and letting, instead of having DSP, and you guys know I love DSP, I'm kind of making my own in a way, my own little background. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here with a little bit of green glue because I want to get this right in here where they can still read it. Okay. Now, 
Oops, I'm going to pull this back out. We sell right now currently the cutest little thing. No, they have dies that you can make with your um, poinsettia for the leaves. But I think why well, make them if I can have these cute little things. They're kind of fabric. They've got a little gold shimmer to it. And I think they're awesome. So I'm going to get at least a small and a large. So there's one. And here's two. And I'm going to do maybe this large one here. And the small one. Now this would be something that I would probably sit with my mini stamp and cut emboss and just while I'm watching TV roll these out so if I was making multiples and let's see we'll put one there. Do we need another? Oh yeah we need another because it just adds a little sparkle. All right, this one needs another where that thing's coming. Okay, so you get that idea, right? And these are called gold holly leaves. And for those who share my video next week, I'm going to be doing a drawing for two of these, for two people to win um, a pack of gold holly leaves. So if you share my video to your wall today, then uh, um, on Friday when I go live, I'm doing a drawing to share these gold holly leaves or to um, win these gold holly leaves. And if you place an order with me, please use this host code, especially tonight when we are having this magnificent magnificent sale. So this is the Gilded Gems. There's gold and you can see I have used a lot and I thought this just fit perfect with these gold leaves. And so, um, you know, it's definitely more of a religious um, card and very elegant. I think the other thing that would be really cute is if you did the um, envelope. Well, you guys, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf, so let's just do the envelope sitting right here. Let's pull out. You could you could stamp the poinsettia, but this is just so light and airy. I don't I don't know that I want to do that, but let's just see if we can run the snowflakes in the background. Of course we can. Let's see if it'll fit through may have to fold it a little, which there might be just a little bit of a crease. Let's move this aside so I can pull this back up again. Nope, I'm not going to have to. I can fit that right to the crease because this will fit sideways because it's got that little extra clearance. So let's put this on here and push it through till the handle goes. I hope this is on screen. So now I have a matching embossed envelope that matches my beautiful card. Isn't that just gorgeous? I just think it's absolutely adorable. Whoops, I got my card upside down. So this would be really cute. And then the other thing that you could do, hey, let's just keep going. I keep ad-libbing. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. The other thing that might be kind of cute is to take, they have one completed um, poinsettia with all the layers instead of just stamping out the different layers that you can cut out. There's one actual completed one in here. So let's pull this open like so. And on the front of the envelope, our envelopes stamp magnificently. Let's pull out the petal pink so it kind of matches. 
and let me grab a scrap paper here because I want to just see what this looks like. We'll just put, oh, perfect. We'll just put it half on, half off of the envelope in the front. So now you have the matching. I mean, isn't this absolutely gorgeous? You've got the snowflakes in the back and then the matching envelope um, of the poinsettia on the front. So let me know what you think of these cards. I think it was adorable enough to bring it back. I mean, Stampin' Up! thought it was enough adorable enough to bring it back. So I think it's really sweet. Now, remember, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so everything that I showed to you today is current and available on my website. I don't think or on my online store. To find that, you if you're watching this on YouTube later, all you have to do is just look in the description and I will have a link to it. I will also have a link to my online class um, for the Be Jolly. And if you are on Facebook right now, there is a Shop My Online Store, something like that at the top of this page. If you um, are shared tonight be sure to let me know but also you need to join in on Friday to see the demonstration on Friday and hear your name be called I've been having a few people that are getting drawn and then they don't show up to um, claim their prizes so if this is something you're interested definitely see me on Friday that is at 4 p.m. Central Time if you're placing an order through me and I do appreciate them it helps me keep bringing these uh, lives to you, please use this host code. And if you don't know how to put the host code in, ask me. I'll take the time to show you. So I hope you have a great evening. I hope your week is just going wonderful. I will be back next week, Wednesday, live again. And I will be back Friday with Bill. So get ready for a bad dad joke, okay? And I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.